What's up, fiends? Welcome to To Be Terrors. My name is Alucard, and today we're stabbing our way through the 2022 slasher comedy, Grotesque, from Higher Universe Pictures. It is co edited, co produced, written, and directed by Brandon Rhinus, and stars Elizabeth Chamberlain and Julie Whalen with a supporting role for Jamie Hill of Skinamarink fame. First off, I'd like to thank Higher Universe Pictures for sending me a copy to watch and review for you guys. Check these guys out. I'll have links in the description box below. Now, let's get to some slashing. Mild-mannered Mildred Moyer, played by Elizabeth Chamberlain, has a rather lengthy nose. That she is often teased about. At a late night office outing, she performs at a karaoke bar where her mean spirited co workers make fun of her all night long. The main instigator is her boss, Blanche, played by Julie Whalen. Heck, even the waitress gives her guff about her nose. So as Mildred leaves, she sees the bouncer getting shot and he goes, Are you gonna help me, bitch? So she just kind of gleefully walks away. Back at home, her roommate Gwen even gives her guff over her appearance. One day, after work, where she's harassed by Blanche yet again, Mildred has finally had enough and goes to visit a quack doctor to get her nose fixed. He works in the basement of a strip club and only accepts cash. So during the operation, the drunken doctor gets interrupted by some gangsters that he owes money to. So one of the gangsters decides to slice off Mildred's long nose for giggles, and the doctor skedaddles. Mildred wakes up with basically just a hole left in her face. So Mildred gets back home, and her sister Chrissy freaks out, telling her she's too ugly. So Mildred ends up chasing Chrissy around the house and accidentally stabs her. However, Mildred leans into it and ends up killing her which starts a chain reaction of Mildred's killing spree on everyone that has tormented her over the years about her looks. So let's look at some of the complaints I've seen of this movie. First off, this is a low budget movie. So don't go expecting an expensive slasher flick like Friday the 13th or something. That being said, I thought this movie looked pretty great, especially given the fact that it's so low budget. And let's talk about the makeup for a second. The large nose in the beginning of the movie does look pretty amateurish. However, I thought it fit the film perfectly. This movie doesn't take itself seriously, and that prosthetic shows that off perfectly. Some of the acting is a bit stiff, but again, that's sort of part of the charm of these types of movies. So that didn't bother me in the least. And I did read one comment that said that this movie is shallow. Yeah, buddy, that's the freaking point. <laughs> so let's get to what I did like about this movie. This movie is a hell of a lot of fun. Mildred is a lovable psychopath who you pretty much are rooting for the entire time. Elizabeth Chamberlain is an absolute delight in this movie. You can tell she's having so much fun playing Mildred. She's a really great character. And I cannot wait to see what she does in the sequel. Yes, there is a sequel in the works. So let's get back to the gore and the kills. The kills are all really fun and bloody. And the kills are all different too, which I really appreciate. There's knives, there's drills, there's chainsaws, all kind of stuff. And this movie has a very high kill count of, I believe it's 28. I could be wrong. There may be more. I don't know, but I counted 28. And then once the kills start, man, it's a non-stop barrage. So prepare yourself. Uh, most of the kills do have a comedic aspect to them as well. So, you know, it, it kind of just ties into the whole uh, vibe of the movie. So overall, though, this movie is a blast. I'm going to give Grotesque four and a quarter bats out of five. I would recommend this film to slasher fans, horror comedy fans, and fans of fun horror movies. I don't think this film will be for everyone, but the folks that will like it, I think will love it. And I, I personally 
am highly anticipating the sequel. So let me know if you've seen Grotesque and what did you think of it. Or let me know if you're going to check it out. Let me know in the comments below. And like I said, it is available right now to watch on Tubi for free. So until next time, adios y bella lugosi.